Hey, welcome back to GS Pro version 2 tips. It's an uh, exciting time as I get to bring to you a new public beta featuring a new item that has been released in the 2.0.5 public beta of GS Pro. And I'm talking about a new feature called bag mapping. Bag mapping is going to allow you to customize what clubs are in your golf bag virtually and the distances that each of those clubs go. Now, why do you think that's important? The J key. There's a J key shortcut on, in the game that will move your view to a certain distance. And up to this point, it's been about 245 yards. The J key will take you to that point, and then you hit it again, and it brings you back. Now, with the introduction to bag mapping, you are going to be able to be 180 yards, the game will automatically pick a club that you have selected that is your 180 yard club. And when you hit the J key, it's going to take you out to where that 180 yard club is expected to land if you in fact hit it 180 yards. Now that's gonna work throughout the bag now. So if you have a, if you have a lob wedge that you're getting ready to hit, you have say a, a 90, uh, a 90 yard shot and your lob wedge is set for 90 yards, the game will automatically select that particular club in the lower left hand corner. And when you hit the J key, the distance will be tied to that club that is picked. So without uh, further ado and no more talking about it, why don't we just jump into what this new feature looks like, where to set it up in game and how to use this particular J key in the game after bag mapping. But most importantly, please take a minute to subscribe, like this video, share some feedback, and let me know if there's any other topic that you'd like for me to cover. I'd be happy to do so. And with that, let's get into bag mapping. So we have GS Pro loaded up, and of course we have the public beta. If you're not familiar on how to install the public beta, it is available to everybody by simply going to settings, Go into the game menu, click on reset, uh, sorry, not sorry, <laughs> download public beta, hit save, and follow the instructions on screen. Simply close out GS Pro, reopen GS Pro with the launcher, and the public beta will install. How do you know that you have the public beta? Down here in the lower left-hand corner, it'll say 2.05 public beta. Now let's get into the settings and let's jump into bag mapping. Under settings, under each player, each player will have a new tab called bag. Now this bag will allow you to select the club that you have and what your bag may be composed of. Now I have a three wood, a five wood, and a seven wood. Let's select that. I then have a five iron, right? I'm going to actually just reset to default because I've been playing around with this. So driver three wood, uh, five wood, uh, seven wood, oops, seven wood. And then I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, pitching wedge, gap wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge, and putter. That is what my bag looks like. I'm going to hit apply so I can at least save my clubs. Now, as far as these distances are concerned, there's two ways that we can set that up. One, if you already know what your numbers are, the proximity of what you believe your numbers to be, you can simply start typing in these numbers and it will save them, right? And you'll be good to go, right? And two, two, zero. That's much better, right? And then 190, 180, let's see, 130, 150 is not really right. 145 ish is really for me. 155, 165, 175, and 185 are probably closer to my real numbers, right? Uh, my lob wedge, sand wedge, gap wedge. That looks about right for me, give or take. I'll hit apply. So now that I've set these manually, that's how it's going to work. Another th option 
is you can actually start the bag mapping on the driving range. And when you do so, it's going to go through every single one of your clubs. You're going to hit five shots. And each of those five shots are then going to be able to be averaged. And then that number will be what's used in your bag mapping. Well, if you hit a bad shot, well, you'll be able to delete it. Let's take a look real quick. So start the bag mapping. And in the bag mapping, it's going to bring up the bag mapping on the driving range. And then it'll start at the bottom of your bag, which in my case is going to be the, uh, the lob wedge. So bag mapper, and I hit begin. Now I have one of five shots with my first club, which is the lob wedge. Take my shot. Fast forward. Now I'll say that a shot is a little freakishly long because I hit it thin, I hit it, I pulled it, whatever. I can delete that shot and then take another shot and that will become my first shot and you can do that throughout the entire five shot cycle right so if i if it's only my uh, second shot that goes astray i i chunk it um i shank it and i want to delete it i can do so so let's say i hit that too terribly and off we go and just continue through this process until you get all five shots and then all 14 all 13 clubs it's not going to do your putter obviously i'm just quickly taking some mouse shots here to, to demonstrate that it actually works and how it works fantastic now i'm on to um my lob wedge i mean sorry my sandwich after this last fifth shot all right so i have an average of hundred and something okay so let's close out that takes care of that and let's end the round and go back to my settings back into settings um, back on John Wayne back to my bag my lob wedge has been changed to the average of 92 yards so let's take this out of the course and see what the J button looks like now that we have a bag map all right, I'm going to save this onto John Wayne, fire up a golf course, and then I'm going to go with John Wayne, who's got the custom bag set up. I'll go with a 6300, uh, we'll go 6, stamp 11, yep, win, calm. That's kind of like my auto, um, my auto, my, that's how my games are usually set up. And we'll hit play Mattapanai, and we'll be right back when that loads up. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. Again, I'm going to be selecting the J as in Juliet key. Remember that my driver was set to 260 yards. I'm going to aim in this particular general area, and I'm going to hit the J key. The J key will fly me out to... 261 yards. I can see what that landing area looks like. And I can go hit the J key to go back. Now let's take my shot. Oops, a slice. It's probably going to go in the water. There's a good chance that goes in the water. And with the mouse, I have it on. So we're going to move back. All right. And we'll drop it. 49 yards, it's got my lob wedge automatically selected. It's going to go out to the, 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 the pin because it's shorter than my distance. And we'll hit one up there. And hit one over. Again, hit one over. And off we go. Let's go into practice mode, which will make things much easier to move around. And in practice mode, uh, we'll be able to move around the golf course any way that we like and go to any spot that we like and test out the J key and the auto club selection based on where the golf ball is on the golf course. All right, here we are in practice mode. And with the ball in our hand, we can select where we want to place the ball. 
And here, I'm 243 yards away. It has selected my three wood automatically down here at the J key. The J key is going to go 243 yards. All right. Now, if I select a shorter shot, 130, hit J, it's my 9-iron, it's going to take me 130. Very nice. And once again, a little closer, 124, it's selected my pitching wedge. It's going to take me right up to the 123-yard mark is where I'm actually at. So there is how we can utilize this J key. Now remember, I am at, um, I think my 99 was 130, no, 155. My pitching wedge was 130, sorry. So I'm going to try and get outside of 130. I just want to see it function a little bit differently. All right, 132, it selected my 9 iron. So let's go up to 132. Let's go up another yard. 131, still got my 9 iron. And 131, still got my 9 iron. 130, I went switched over to pitch and wedge. Brought me to 130, exactly. Now, I'm going to switch to a different hole. And if you don't know already, in practice mode, you can use the zero and the nine to switch to the next hole. So zero would go a hole forward. Nine will go a hole backwards. Forward, zero, backwards, nine. So let's go to this par three. The par three is 114 yards. It's chosen my gap wedge. Hit the J key, and it's going to take me right into 114 yards. Okay. And I'm going to hit it up short because I just screwed up my mouse mode. But that's okay. For demonstration, we're in practice mode. So hopefully there are no more questions on the J key and the bag mapping and how all of it is going to work together. Again, practice mode is a fantastic tool to use when you want to know penalties, when you want to know shots, when you want to know how to use the software, if you want to know how things are going to interact, if you just want to practice a particular shot, you know, you're having a hard time with these little pitch shots from, from a hill. Well, practice mode is your place to do so. But again, that's for another day. Questions, comments, information, or thoughts on using the J key, on using bag mapping, which is a new feature of 2.0.5. Let me know, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions, comments, and more importantly, if you have suggestions on how I could make other videos that would help people out much better. But again, please subscribe. And let me know what you think. Thanks. Appreciate you tuning in. And until next time, hit them straight.